what is meta meta modernism? You know, what what is this time we're kind of living in? And and meta modern, well, like that implies something that's not modern is or modernity or modernism. What what is the difference? And then uh, maybe maybe this is a, a time to unpack that riff a little bit mm-hmm. about like our our current time. You know, what 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 exactly is meta modern meta modernism? And then also, you know, uh, we're living in the Anthropocene. So what is that as well? Yeah. Yeah. So, so metamodernism, what's interesting is, and I think a lot of like Jonathan Rousen wrote a great essay that you may have shared on your Twitter feed or in Mm -hmm. in the newsletters um, uh, talking about his introduction to the new uh, perspective book is an anthology on metamodernism. And uh, it's, it's difficult to sum it up uh, depending on who you ask, but essentially the, like the, the, the too long didn't read uh, it's an attempt to articulate the structure of feeling of our times right. after 9-11 in the 21st century, in a time where many systems are breaking down, politics are in turmoil, and we don't quite know how we're going to really transit or what we're transitioning into. Mm-hmm. And so there's a kind of oscillation between sort of postmodern orientation in terms of deconstruction and irony and pastiche, and then kind of more modernist orientations around grand narratives and sincerity, et cetera. So it's that kind of oscillation between irony and sincerity might be one way to kind of sum it up quickly. Um, But also this feeling of like being in between different cultural orientations and mm-hmm. sort of not really having a, a, a place to settle. Right. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. not quite, we're not postmodern anymore. I wouldn't say, I mean, Frederick Damison talks about that in his famous essay on, you know, postmodernism and, and uh, capitalism in the 1980s. Yep. Um, the age of pastiche is over in some extent, it's still here, but it's not quite what we are anymore. Mm -hmm. And now you mentioned the Anthropocene. I think that directly relates to that. Um, Now uh, the technical term is, is uh, an age in which human activity has a impact on the planet, like a geological record. I think the geologist uh, Paul Mm -hmm. Crutzen coined that. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's a technical meaning. And, you know, basically they can look at future scientists could uh, observe that, okay, uh, yeah, there was a species burning a lot of fossil fuels at this point. You could see that the temperature change and the CO2 levels all And explode. mass extinctions, right? Because and that's, mass that's extinctions. The, that's the big one, like in the fossil layers. There's, there's going to be yeah. like tons of mass Massive extinctions die off. Already. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, people have interpreted that in different ways, but basically uh, we seem to be in, in a period of time where human activities have a, our geological force or almost a force of nature. Mm-hmm. And so that, that relationship between nature and culture or civilization or the human and the non-human is really kind of getting blurry. And some people are taking it in different directions. Some people say, well, let's lean into that and do mass geoengineering projects and solve the climate crisis that way. And then other people are saying, uh, like Andreas Malm, who, who writes about the history of fossil fuels, he says, well, no, it's not really about human beings being these all powerful geological forces. It's actually the resurgence of nature. So mm-hmm. there's different readings mm-hmm. on that, but mm-hmm. that's part of what feeds into this meta-modern theme, right? That the the arc of modernity and globalization and um, uh, global capitalism as we have known it has sort of led us to this precipice and we're not we we know that can't continue but we don't really know how to imagine an alternative right right so that's that's how i would define metamodernism is this like kind of space in between writing on the momentum of modernity and post-modernity just in terms of you know our cultural attitudes and knowing that's all breaking down and not really being sure what comes quote unquote next or what comes after and depending on who you talk to they have different theories like Hansi Freinacht, um, who's not a real person. And he's an amalgamation of two people um, okay. uh, coming out of a, a sort of the Nordic metamodernism, as it were. Um, he takes a much more integral theory, Ken Wilber approach, where he does have some ideas about where we're headed. And again, it's a very kind of developmental perspective mm-hmm, on, mm-hmm. well, societies evolve through these different stages. And so metamodernism is the next stage. And so he talks about, you know, Hansi talks about um, the ability to, again, oscillate between these different um, value orientations, modern, postmodern, and even traditional, just in terms of you go further back. Uh, so there's all that. Right, <laughs> there's right, all right. that. Mm-hmm. Um, but but I, I tend not to emphasize the stage-oriented theory 
just mm-hmm. because I, I find it more useful to, um, to, to speak to the structure of feeling of our times. And, and I think the structure of feeling is much more of a, an accessible point to begin to say like, hey, doesn't it feel like everything's sort of breaking apart and blowing up and there's all this complexity and nobody seems to know what they're doing and a little virus can shut down the world economy and disrupt our supply chains, et cetera, et cetera. Like, what are a we doing all about this? A ship in the Suez Canal. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. Like, just a little. So, <laughs> so obviously, we're dealing with a, a degree of complexity. Mm. Uh, the, 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 the themes of climate and the non-human world, as it's called, like nature, ecosystems, mm-hmm. bioregions, mm-hmm. are all becoming incredibly important and culturally and economically and socially important. And that's what Bruno Latour talks about. Yep. So for me... Metamodernism uh, has to do with this turn towards towards Gaia, as as Latour mm-hmm. talks about, um, and everything that implies in our culture, like how that's going to have to rewrite everything. Uh, I'm not. I'll, I'll pause for a moment, but that that's an attempt to kind of weave yeah, yeah. together metamodernism and the Perfect. Anthropocene. 